Welcome friends, I am Tanumai and welcome you all in my channel Chemistry and History of Molecules. This is a continuation lecture. So previously I have explained about the very basic about Claisen extract, condensation, mechanism, pKa control, reversibility and finally choice of base. So this is the extension. Today we shall discuss the cross Claisen reaction. Okay. So let's start. Actually Today mainly we will discuss two points. First of all, cross present between two ester. Means two ester. This is for example such this series one ester and another thing our basic that is acid and ethyl acid that is another ester. And second one ester versus one ketone. Why? Because the main overview of the Claisen condensation is the nucleophile is reacting with the ester to a form a tetrahedral adduct and tetrahedral adduct eliminated the esters alcohol part to produce the product. Okay, so this is the main overview of the Claisen condensation. This is the background motivation to understand this thing properly. So let's start. For example, if we take this region, this uh, combination, means here you can see these all four, they don't have any alpha hydrogen. So no alpha hydrogen. So, it is expected that they will not able to perform the Claisen condensation, only this half. And another thing, before going to details or some, in case of some Claisen, cross Claisen condensation, you need to think about the side reactions also. For example, if I consider this two, this and this, what are the possible? First example, this may two, this two may can react or this ethyl acetate itself can react. So we have to keep it in mind and based on that we have to choice reason. Okay? Okay. So what is going to happen if these two reacts? In case of means diethyl oxalate, you can see there is no hydrogen. And secondly, the two carbonyl group adjacent to each other in one two position. Consequently, what happens? That they are more electron deficient, first of all, due to the withdrawing effect. Second of second of all, the overlap between the LUMO of this carbonyl and this carbonyl, so overall LUMO decreases, resulting the reaction rate increases. So, and for that, what is the cho choice of reagent? Reagent is sodium dry ether and one drop of ethanol one drop of ethanol. I have explained that logic previously. So in this way we can reduce, we can uh, drive the ethanol formation equilibrium to the front side. Please go through that. It's a very important concept. So what happens in this condition, this one proton is abstracted to produce the enolate and that enolate attack here. Consequently it goes and produces a tetrahedral intermediate and finally it leaves. So what it is producing? It is producing this carbony, this is this OET under alkaline condition, and second, this is so under this condition, as I told, this will be anion in second state because its pK is far less than this, its pK around 24, whether its pK around 11, depending on substitution, it may change, but you can consider around 11, so it will be in anion form. So after work up with dilute acid H3O plus it will produce the final molecule. Now there may be a cross question that since I have used water uh, sorry acid will the ester hydrolyze? Actually that depends on the example to example. Frankly speaking no. This is a neutralization reaction. Generally it is carried out in very low temperature means ice cold condition this such that only protonation happens here but ester hydrolysis is not that much easy reaction. Okay. So it is expected that this will be the product. Similarly if we consider if this reagent is used and this one so ultimately it will be removed. So one proton from here and this ethoxide will remove. So ultimately what will be the product? The product will be CH2 <coughs> after this acidic workup. I am writing. Please keep it in mind. Never forget this, otherwise, reaction will not happen because this is the driving force. So, this, in, if it is uh, this form, uh, ethyl formate, then this final product, and you keep one a thing in mind 
this material, this exam, this formalin, this thing in presence of acid, it trimerizes. It trimerizes to produce a benzene type derivative, means 1,3-di, 1,3-5-tri acid derivative in presence of acid it trimerizes its unique property because of the extremely high electron deficiency of this formalin group, this reaction process and second thing there is no plus i effect introducing so electron withdrawing effect this and this to anorization became very possible so in this reaction process and this is the unique example ethyl ester so what will happen these will result in OET OET and you can see this is one of the very famous reagent diethyl malonate or renowned as DIM. Okay, so this reagent could also be prepared from this. And another one important this after hydrolysis, if this 1,3 di acid is converted into, for example, one part we don't consider, second part is acid, let's hydrolyze OH, then they undergo facile carbon dioxide elimination after insertion of slight amount of heat through a six member cyclic transition state okay so six member cyclic transition state you can write this this in this way so how this reaction will happen first of all means you can consider using this or this both is same after that it will come here after that it will come here so in this way what it will produce it will produce a carbon ion means uh, uh, means in all that you can consider that type o h means this is and this will come not this actually this is this is a enol so in then undergo it undergo protonation to keto so that is the beta keto acid beta keto acid decarboxylation okay fine so this is now the second part is reaction with a keto basic background concept is that ketones are more acidic more acidic than ester so if you pro provide base what will happen instead of ester this proton will be abstracted generally their pKa is around 15 to 18 and ester uh, sorry uh, 15 to around 20 so ester will abstract the instead of ester this proton will be abstracted and it will produce an enolate and that enolate will attack here and this ester will remove okay i'll give some example means this and this so i'll make a reaction will proceed I'll, I'll give some example which will make the things more clear here you can see this pKa of these ketones are around 18 to 21 okay and pKa of this ester is around 25 then here it is 26 in case of ethyl acid so what happens? So if base is provided, for example, sodium, uh, actually it's sodium ethoxide, but it is produced in sodium in dry ether, one drop ethanol. So in case of this base, this base will prefer to abstract this. So if we draw, it will produce that, actually it's an element. So right now this is an equilophile, not this. So the chances of cross conjugation is minimized here. Second of all, all the reaction is reversible unless the last one. So if there is some self condensation occurs also for this ester self condensation, then it can come back. Another point is that you can argue since here negative charge is developed, why not this undergo aldol condensation? Okay. Question is, it will not undergo because first of all, aldol condensation is reversible and second of all, that ketone has larger bulkness. I have explained in the Barbiturin trajectory story. That's why the aldol condensation equilibrium mainly remain in the left side. Consequently, it is reluctant for aldol. So, if there is a better chance for this, it will follow that chance. And here the chance is, it will attack here. So it will, yeah, and this ethoxide will give, so what will be the product? It will be the product of this. So O C H 3 So this, in this way, using ketone, directly we can prepare this 1,3-di carbonyl compound. 
और बेटर टू से नॉट डाई कार्बोनिल डाई कीटो ओके यूजिंग दिस स्ट्रेटेजी वी कैन डिरेक्टली प्रिपेयर दिस डाई कार्बोनिल कॉम्पाउंड एक्सेप्ट एक्सेप्ट If this is a formic acid derivative, then that will be aldehyde. But generally, it is ketone. And second, this is the active methylene group one proton is still there, so that could be obstructed to drive the equilibrium towards the right side. Okay. Second, this second example is a little tricky because as well as first, I have explained the uh, choice between this ester uh, self condensation versus ketone self condensation. Another thing here because there is Two types of proton. Okay, this is not a symmetrical ketone. Previously, it's a symmetrical ketone, cyclohexanone. So, question: Which will undergo reaction? Till now, we have understand that enolate will be produced in the ketone side that will attack to the ester side. But what will happen here? In this case, this proton will be obstructed. Why? Let's draw the product first. This is hydrogen. This is carbonyl. And this is the CH two minus. Why? Because we know, first of all this is a base mediated proton obstruction. Okay. So we have to check the acidity of this proton. This is more acidic compared to this because two methyl group are there which have a plus I effect. Consequently, obstruction of this proton is difficult. Base mediated because base will act as a nucleophile. For example, if we take O E T, then it will act. Sorry, it, it will act as a base. It will go and attack this. Second of all. Which is a minor important point, but bulk is also a point. So, the abstraction of this proton is easier. And another thing, the produced negative charge on this carbon is more stable compared to this because of the presence of these methyl groups. So, what will happen? This will produce an element here, and that will react with this ester moiety. For example, if we take ethyl acetate, so this will come and attack. Push back and finally, what it will produce? It will produce a also a dicarbonyl compound with this substitution. Okay, so this is the discussion of cross laser. I have, I think you have understood. So a lot of thing I have explained this video. First of all, that cross laser condensation with one ester. With another ester having no alpha hydrogen, so that can do only this. Second of all, ester with a ketone because ketone is more acidic compared to a ester. That's why enolate will have a generate there here, and it will ultimately every case it will produce one three dicarbonyl compound. And so overall, we have learned this one three dicarbonyl compound preparation from different ways. So. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my teaching, please give a like and share this video among your friends so that many people can be benefited from my effort. And please subscribe my channel Chemistry and Mystery of Molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. And stay happy, stay blessed. See you in my next video.